an Italian far-right political party called the Brothers of Italy won the most votes in the country's latest national election. And now there's a lot of concern about how close to fascism this party might be. But is it warranted? He got with me. The Brothers of Italy started out as a fringe far-right group, but now it's Italy's biggest political party. It has its roots in a neo-fascist movement that took place after World War II, called the Italian Social Movement. Giorgia Maloney is the founder and head of the Brothers of Italy party, and she was originally a member of the Italian social movement before she decided to launch this other party. Since her party won the most votes, Giorgia Maloney will now become Italy's first woman prime minister, and she'll also be the first far-right politician to lead Italy since the fascist dictator and Hitler's role model, Benito Mussolini. Oof, that is not a name you want to be associated with. But let's not be so quick to judge. Let's examine what she has said, shall we? Maloney has previously praised Mussolini in her youth, but she condemned his anti-Semitic laws and effort to deport Jews to concentration camps during the Holocaust. Her MO is that she's ultra-conservative on social issues. She's very against immigration and very against LGBTQ rights. In fact, at a rally in Spain, she said, yes to the natural family, no to the LGBT lobby, yes to sexual identity, no to gender ideology. On the international front, she supports Ukraine, although her colleague and corrupt slut, Silvio Berlusconi, has touted Russian authoritarianism. And she also says she supports the EU, but that's probably because it gives Italy a lot of pandemic money. So why did Italians vote for this party? Most Italians say they were just tired of rising prices and economic stagnation, and wanted to shake things up a bit. And it's actually really common for Italians to vote for change, and they're kind of used to political volatility. So they don't believe anyone is staying around for long anyway, since their politicians all seem to live in an Italian melodrama. Grazie, grazie mille a tutti voi. Prometto di lavorare per tutta l'Italia. This election was more about dissatisfaction than about a far-right sentiment. I don't think fascism is making a comeback in Italy, but what's important here is that you're seeing more extreme far-right and populist leaders and parties across Europe, like in Sweden, France, Hungary, and now Italy, becoming more and more popular. And that could start to clash with the human rights values upheld by the EU, like on immigration, LGBTQ, and women's rights. And that's something worth keeping a close eye on. Thank <laughs> you.